Hi guys, this is Magic from OpenCashew and I'm going to show you how to create a package uh, which involves patching of the source code. I will be working on a Solaris system I've set up in the previous video, so if you haven't seen it, I recommend going back and watching it first, otherwise you will have a little idea of what tools I'm using. I want to show you the whole process of creating a package, starting from the idea uh, what piece of software I want to build and ending with an installed working package. I chose to build the tree utility. It's a simple enough piece of software, um, but will not build out of the box and we will have to modify the sources a little bit. Speaking of sources, they are one thing that we definitely need, so uh, let's go and get them. I will start with a Google search. So that's a generic uh, description, nothing really interesting. Let's see, maybe Wikipedia dis disambiguation will have it. Okay, there we go. Uh, that sounds like it. And yes, we have the homepage. Excellent. Uh, and the sources. So the sources will be the ones over HTTP. Okay, uh, let's go to our build host. Um, let's go into the open cache directory and create um, the stub of our package. Okay. Now let's go and see the make file. Let's paste our link with the sources and fill in all the all the places that need to be fill in. Fill in. So um, this is the name of our package. The version is 1.6.0. Um, brief description. Maybe we'll steal something from the website. Let's see. Uh, the recursive to releasing command. Okay, that looks good. This part. Okay, uh, this we will not need. Master sites. This is the place from which we will download the sources with the training slash. And it's a TGZ file, so we'll have to uh, modify here accordingly. We don't need that part, don't need that part. Let's see, okay, I think we can try. So I'm not expecting that it will build out of the box. I'm just running the build command mgar build and I'm just looking what happens. Category, category is invalid, let's see. Uh, it's about this line. I think we don't need a category at all. Let's see what happens now. Okay, it's done loading. Okay, and it's not in the checksums file, so let's make the checksum. Okay, now we can continue building. And the next failure, what is it? Um, user bin env says that not no such file or directory, but what is it referring to? I think it's referring to this configure script because here we have the command has been run, which is cd to a directory, make there, cd again, and user bin env and some variables that just continue until right here. 
So um, no configure. Let's go and investigate what's going on. Uh, yes, in fact, there is no configure script. So let's, let's read the install. Edit the make file for your OS. Aha, so they actually expect us to edit the make file. Type make, type make install. I think they mean gmake because the make on Solaris refers to this sun make, which is different. Um, okay, so let's edit the make file. So what we have here, prefix user. No, we don't want to install into user. Normally on, on Solaris, we never ever uh, modify the contents of slash user, like slash user bin or slash user lib. Um, th these are Solaris directories and we're not touching them. So we'll be building into opt cashew. So what do we have here? We have some Linux defaults, and the flags, and comment for the FreeBSD. Aha, and comment for Solaris. So they recommend using CC, but I don't want to use CC. I want to use GCC, so I will not uncomment that. These flags are for the Solaris Studio, which we are not using. So LD flags are empty, so I'm thinking that we'll switch that part. Uh, there is some additional object we want to build. If you uh, looked at what that is, so this is a function that is uh, available in um, GNU libc and is not available in Solaris. So uh, it looks like Tree is just building its own version of it. Uh, Amander, okay. I think these options are okay. For our build, even then, even though it says bash D Linux. Okay, um, but uh, one thing we have to do is we need to go back to our make file, which is our build description, and in there um, we need to basically tell it to not try to run the configure script. So. Configure scripts is nothing and build scripts. We will have a custom target build custom, which will be uh, going into work source and typing gmake. And uh, here we will make a cookie for, for guard to basically mark this target as done when it's done. Okay, let's see what happens now. Is door undeclared here not in a function? Uh, let's see. So that's tree dot C line forty nine. Okay, so this is the failing line and S is door is not declared. And interestingly, it tests for is port and then uses both is door and is port. So what is is door anyway? Uh, user input in the system. Let's see in the system libraries. Okay, we have something here. Hmm, this looks like a macro. This actually looks like it, it wants to behave like a function, not just a macro. So it looks like it behaves in a in a different way from what what this expects. So I think what we will do is we will undef is port 
and even undev uh, is dar so that this uh, branch is not triggered and this one is uh, used instead so let's go and edit maybe the header file the tree.h and let's do that for sort of in, in the preprocessor for the Solaris system. So if defined sun on def um, is uh, is port and is door and we can end that bit. Okay. Let's see if it builds. Uh huh. Looks better. And it built. Excellent. So let's continue and try to build a package. Uh, no rule to make target check. Aha, uh -huh. of course, there is no target check. So what we can do is we can tell the guard not to try to run tests. So test targets equals empty. And let's try to package again. Uh -huh, I think it's test target in the singular form, not the plural. Uh, what happens now? So it says install dash D. Uh -huh, so it looks like it's going to uh, try to install into up cashew bin, uh, which obviously doesn't have permissions for because it should be in, uh, should be installing in the designed test there and not in the system location so mm, let's try to look at our uh, at the make file of tree and let's see what what is it trying to do with the install target aha uh -huh, so it just goes bin there so um, it should go test there first for all these places. Okay. Uh huh, it's better, but let's see if test dash e3 then hmm test argument expected. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna check out. Aha. Uh -huh. So you see, this is a test for a existence of a file, but it's not available in SH, which is probably used by, uh, by GNUMAKE in this place. So maybe we can change that to basically not, not so we are not testing for existence, but we're testing for, for readability of the file, which is, for our purposes, just just as good. So let's see what happens now. Uh, what is it doing? Tree was not found. Any oh, it's looking what? It's looking for the for the binary. Uh, 
but it's here. Uh, so let's, let's see again. What is it trying? What is it trying to accomplish? And tree test is a what? Okay, it's just the it's just the name tree. I think I was just I I I think there's a problem with uh, the with this ins whole install utility. I'll just use g install. I think this is what this um, this build was written with. And it works. So yes. So the fix was to use GNU install program instead of the inbuilt install program. And we have the package. So uh, let's, I guess, try try to install it. So we'll go into a temporary directory. We will copy the package in. Go zip it uh, and install it. Okay. looks like the one we just built and let's try to run it excellent it may look like we are done but we are not really and the thing that we are missing is that all the changes that we made to the sources are currently in the sources and if we go here um, and we run something like mgar clean, our, all our changes will be blown away. So you, we don't want that. We, went, we want to get all the changes and incorporate them into the recipe so we can go uh, mgar clean and mgar package and everything will be installed in the, and compiled in the patched way. So how do we do that? Um, if you go to the sources, uh, for instance, let's say here, and uh, you, 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 if you are here, you can use git to examine uh, what's, what, are, what changes have been done. For instance, you can run git diff. And now we can see all the changes that we have made. So um, you could go here and create the patch, but this has been uh, automated and wrapped in a, in a nice utility. You can just type mgar make patch and you press enter and the script underneath will go and will uh, make the uh, change for you. We'll have, you will have a chance to uh, edit uh, the description. So for instance, we are going to say, um, uh, okay, make file adapted for Solaris. Uh, we need to add that to the, uh, the patch file to subversion and also add the information about the patch to the make file. So now our, our recipe is complete. We can go mgar clean and mgar package. So this time around, mgar will go and fetch our patches as well as the sources. And before compiling, we'll apply, you can see here, apply make, fi make file adapted for Solaris. So from now on, every time you build the package, it will be built and patched. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop by our IRC channel on hash OpenCSW on Freenode or follow us on Twitter and on Google+.